I like this intro music. Uh, I think I'm gonna mark that one as one to use. Hello. <laughs> Got a little fuzz going. Nice. Trying a new beverage. Jury's still out. <clears throat> Smirnoff Ice Smash. This is like a peach mango thing. It's actually, it tastes a lot like peach and mango, so. What's up, folks? Goodness, there's a lot of people to uh, say hello to. Rich and Wit, they're probably in server here with me. KV, EMT1, Steve Allen, Lights and More, Red Bear. <laughs> I don't know what Kundub is, but yeah, Smash. <clears throat> Cookie Brew, hello, man. Dave N. Jared K. Stephen S. The name's a damn. <laughs> Kyan Summers. Hey, Rich. Thanks for becoming a member again. Nine months, man. Can you believe that? Nine months. <clears throat> yeah, I have some big stuff tonight. I'm kind of waiting for people to filter in. Everybody always filters in late and then says, what a miss. <laughs> That's right. We had a YouTube baby. I don't actually know how many people have got following me over on Twitch right now. I haven't, uh, it, it actually has, <laughs> the numbers creeped up a little bit. I'm still tiny, but uh, Noah, man. <laughs> this is not the place for that. I've got all the documentations. I've got the wiki. I've got help desk tickets. All that stuff, man. Um, I can't answer your... Other, I can't even fathom your problems. <laughs> Usually it's a setup problem. So, uh, I don't know if you have a ticket or not, but definitely open one if you don't. Uh, we can help you work through it. Most... Of the time, it's a database connectivity error. <clears throat> All right. What do we got? I guess we're maybe maxed out here. Anonymous. <laughs> Somebody's named Anonymous? Well, thank you, Anonymous, for the $10. I appreciate that a lot. All right, um, last week sometime, well, it was before the stream last week, um, my Australian friend, Jay, who is also one of my customer service guys and one of my testers, uh, he sent me a file and said, enjoy. And I started listening to it and it was, it was, it was a song. And it mentioned Big Daddy, which I've heard songs mention Big Daddy before. It's not an uncommon name. But then it started talking about specific script things. And I kind of freaked out. I was like, how in the world is that happening? And uh, <clears throat> anyway, he had, he had made me a song. And it was only about half of it that I had during the stream last week. And since then, it's been finished and remixed and 
I was just obsessed with it because it was freaking me out so much. And I thought this would make a really good promo video for the Scripps channel. Which, by the way, where you're watching this video right now is not the Scripps channel on YouTube. There's, uh, there's another channel. It's at Big Daddy Scripps. We moved the script stuff over there. I'm still streaming here because I don't have enough followers over there to make it worth it. So I feel like I'm maxing out the mic here. Um, so, you know, go over there and subscribe so we can build that one up and I can do streams over there because the more followers you have, the better uh, options you get for streaming. So that's why I'm still here. Anyway, so he, I decided it would make a really good uh, what you jigger. I got distracted. Make a really good, uh, like a promo video, theme video kind of thing. And so over the last week, <laughs> we spent a bunch of time creating clips and putting them all together. And uh, you are here for the world premiere of Big Daddy's Revolution. No! 
Sorry. Can you hear now? Here I am talking to no one. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, because of the double audio, I, like, muted part of it. Can you, can you hear me now? Okay. Um, anyway, that was, that's the world premiere of the, <laughs> the video, which I love. I'm really excited about the thing. So thank you, Jay, for the song. And, uh, and for all my guys for the help with it, except for Joseph. He's, uh, he's been out on a cruise, so uh, <laughs> he was no help at all. I'm just kidding. I mean, he was on a cruise, but I said I had two announcements. So uh, the other one is kind of we've had a lot of stuff in the pipeline that we've been testing and going back and forth on and fixing bugs and this and that. Well, I think the big release party started today because Urban Surfing got released. Um, there are several more on the block, but the big one is county services and trains. Uh, both of those are just a few days away. Uh, county services is basically ready. I just need to package it up and uh, get it out there so you guys can buy it and tear it up. Uh, trains is also ready. There's a little glitch with the passenger car on the trains. Um, I did my vehicle dev that built that. He, uh, he's got some health issues that he's dealing with. So, uh, I'm probably going to release it as is for now. And it's not that big of a bug. It just bothers me. Um, it doesn't really affect the game one way or the other. It's just, if you shuffle through the seats in the passenger car, you get to a certain point and you pop out on the roof. That's that's the bug. So, you know, we'll call it a feature. <clears throat> and yeah, county services, I, I tweaked some things this week. It's been in beta test on a server. It's been waiting to go into OCRP for beta test, but there's a lot going on there and it just hasn't made it in yet. Uh, I think this weekend it'll get tested there. Um, so... Um, that's the big thing. There's going to be a lot of scripts coming, so get those piggy banks out. And put your nickels and dimes in them. And let's see what we can show you tonight. Um, Urban Surfing got released, so... I guess I turn on my game audio. I don't know where everybody is, but... I would assume right here. Look, there they are. So you surf attaches you to the car. And now you're riding. And you can do emotes and whatever while you're on the car. Uh, just know that if you do an emote, like if I, hopefully they're started. If I, if I dance, use X to stop it so you don't fall off the car. Because if you use the regular emote thing to stop it, it may detach you, depending on which emote thing it is. So yeah, I used X there to stop. Um... And, you know, if he hits something or hits the brakes too hard or goes around a corner too hard or leaves the ground or goes up a hill too steep or whatever, oh, <clears throat> you're going to fall off. Just like you would in real life. Damn degenerate. Uh, and then the thing that <laughs> took it an extra few days was... Uh, oops. I just danced again. Oops. <laughs> I thought I fixed that. Oh, I'm standing one foot off. All right, the, the thing that it was like a last minute idea that we had that while you're driving, you can hold the space bar and squat down. And when you let go, you'll do a little flip and jump off the car. I was too far to the right. Jesus. 
way. Degenerate. Oh, look, he's mad. All right. Anyway, <laughs> that's what we added that we had to add. It, it took forever to figure that. What just happened? I fell through the... This is one of those cars with the convertibles that has no collision on the roof. I'm standing on his head. <laughs> oh, this is going to hurt. I can tell already. <laughs> oh, and he flipped it. <laughs> uh, Christopher Long, no, you are incorrect. Yes, a lot of people talk about that, but they're actually wrong. Um, there is a possible... Big Daddy Framework kind of in the works. I mean, all of these things would plug into it. Uh, but the next thing on it, I think, would be inventory. So, all right, let's say you wanted to ride in the back of one of these trucks. Oh, how did I do that? That hurt. <laughs> what is that? I have no idea what's happening. Okay. And you can put as many people back here as you wanted to, and they're all going to be riding in the back of the truck. Uh, yeah, Red Bear is standalone inventory. Well, it would be a Big Daddy inventory. But it would not require any of those uh, other two frameworks that I'm not mentioning the name of. <laughs> there is a chance you don't jump out well. Alright, so that is Urban Surfing, which you can get right now. Um... I will show you. I've probably showed this before, but uh, I'm going to go hitchhiking. When he honks, you get in. Hi. He'll probably say hi to you. You tell him where you want to go, and he'll go. <laughs> Vehicle paint script. You're funny. I know there's a lot of people that love the Q and the other, those two frameworks. I don't even like talking about them. I know people that love them because they have a lot of stuff built in that you can do and uh, I just, I don't like them. I think they force RP. They don't, I, I just don't like how they work. So. I don't have anything to do with them. When he gets there, you get out. And he'll go on his way. How cool is that? Have you guys seen the new robberies? Have I shown you that? Oh, I should get guns because this is going to be dangerous. I think I have the security turned on. 
which means I'm probably going to get killed. I'll just get all weapons. All right, so if I come up to the ATM and I get the little red circle, I think it's G, yeah. And he's going to start drilling into it. Oh my goodness, three, over three and a half minutes. That's your timer up there on the top right. That's how long it's going to take you to get into that. If you need to back out for some reason, you can press X. And he'll bail out. I don't remember if I have security turned on. If I do, and there's no police on, which there are obviously not, then... Uh, They'll show up, and they come guns blazing. They don't mess around. Oh, crap. There they are. Oh, no. That's not them. Is it? No, that's... That's one of my guys. He's on my payroll, so... Yeah, just two and a half minutes more of the drill sound. Can these be configurable to use keybinds or targets as options? Uh, Rico, which, which one are you talking about? Wait, you're a QB core guy? <laughs> uh, no, there are. There's no targeting. Um, and no, I'm not gonna implement Q target or anything like that. Um, if you have a stream deck, you can tie it to any of the commands. My problem with keybinds is there's only so many and most of them are used up by other stuff. Also, money has new uh, ATM screens. They're not out yet, but it tells you which key to push so you can get rid of that prompt. Uh, Jeff over at OCRP, is uh, he wants to get rid of as much text on the screen as possible. So I've been coming up with ways to uh, get rid of the text and still know what to, to press. So on the ATM screen it tells you which key to press. Yeah, also key binding, you can't bind all the keys. There are some that just don't bind. So uh y yes, Steven, that's coming. The only reason the text is there is because people don't remember what the keys are. I took the the trunk text off on OCRP and nobody can remember how to get in the trunk now. I've seen it over and over in videos. They cannot remember the keys. All right, we're almost there. 15, 14 seconds. And it'll tell you how much money you got up there on the right. I got $853. Stupid Sandy Shores. Oh, man, it's so good to have that sound gone. And this integrates with whatever money you want to integrate it with. You can integrate it with any one of those networks for Andes or... Uh, what's the other one? Um... Oh my gosh, why can I not think of it? Yeah, Nats. Yeah, that's the one. Um, <clears throat> it'll integrate with any of those. And Big Daddy Money too. And you can rob registers and safes. And it's blue because there's a cooldown now. Because I've just robbed it. So... 
So that's the new robberies. It's almost ready. Um, oh, I have to. So I want to pay cash. I only got $853, so I'm going to give him uh, 400 and... 26 to that person. There you go. That's how money works. <laughs> so I just paid off the cop because, you know, he did not arrest me. All right, what else was I going to show? Um, <laughs> that is true. Uh, the texture swap on the canines, I mean, that's down the line. I've got so many things cooking right now. Uh, I am thinking about putting in like a, a key thing that uh, allows you to scroll through them, kind of like the license plates do now. Um, everybody wants to know about Elio. Well, you see that flashlight over there that he's using? That's part of the Elio script. There's the shoulder one. There's the waist one. And my favorite, the pointable one. That's part of the LEO script. Uh, along with that, we've got the uh, vehicle spotlight, which works with the mouse. Oh, I don't remember. What's the lock key? X? Oh, no. X turns it off. How do you lock it? Uh, e? Nope. <laughs> G? Nope. See, this is the problem with no text. Z? There we go. So now it's locked and I can get out of the car. And honestly, if I unlock it, and I put it in place, and I hit F, it locks it when I get out. So, look at the shadows. Nice. And it is synced network. So, and when you get back in, it unlocks it again. Oh, and there he is, handcuffing him. Now grab him and walk him. This is my favorite thing. Can you not grab him? See, this is why it's not released yet. Sometimes it just doesn't behave. If I go to grab him. Grab the wrong guy. Okay. Well, this is my favorite thing. See how he's not sliding along like some weird GTA nonsense? He's actually walking. Now, when you run, it doesn't work. <gasps> Wait. How is that possible? Oh, it may be because he's not cuffed. It is, because he's not cuffed. I forgot about that. Whenever you're uh, not cuffed, you can run with the guy. And I can bring him here to his police car. And put him in the car. Oh, he can't get in this car because there's no back seat. This isn't a real police car. It's not real. Yeah, you can grab people and walk them even if they're not in handcuffs. <laughs> Maybe.
making an admin script. Uh, Jamie T003, what do you mean by admin script? Allergy season is upon us, isn't it? <clears throat> you like the floating perps where they slide around without moving? I hate that. I've always hated it. Oh, TX Admin does all that. Jamie and I have no reason to... I don't think I could build it any better than they do. <clears throat> This is their favorite. All right. You don't like TX Admin? I have zero issues with it. So, now you know. You've seen the theme. Uh, you've seen the new stuff. And you know that new stuff is coming like crazy. Um, I think the Hitchhiker script will be out within the week. County services, trains... Uh, the drone script is very close. There's uh, the bounty hunter script, the delivery driver, the taxi driver, the bus driver. Uh, am I missing anything? I'm sure I am. <clears throat> so uh, all of those are on the cusp. And they're going to start releasing. Well, tonight it started. Um, so, uh, thank you guys so much for the support. And, uh, like I said, go over to Big Daddy Scripts on YouTube. And subscribe there to try to build those numbers up so I can start doing these streams over there. And, uh, and have all the benefits it would be nice. I would love to do that. Uh, I'm going to exit by playing the theme one more time. If you don't want to watch it, you guys can cut out. But thank you so much. I appreciate you. In a world so fake, where fantasies collide, there's a rebel standing tall, breaking all the ties. Big Daddy, he's the script creator, leading the way, making the fake world better, one script at a time.